Hey guys, a very good morning and a very warm welcome to this new daily market outlook. In today's daily market outlook, we're going to be discussing the DXY, gold, some major currency pairs, and we also have some pairs on request. So lots to do. So let's just dive straight in. To begin with, as per usual, the DXY. So the DXY, you guys know, broke out from this descending wedge towards the upside, perfectly retested this descending trend line and started impulsing towards the upside. So what we're seeing this morning is some bullishness within the DXY. And I hope that we are going to start breaking out of this area of resistance at 91.300. Because if we do not start breaking out of this area of resistance, the scenario in which we have an ascending wedge over here is becoming more and more likely because we've already had the one, two, and then potential double top touch, which could then make us see further downside. I'm really keeping in mind that we could start seeing the DXY tank further towards the downside. Therefore, it is essential that we start breaking above these highs to create a new higher high, break out of this ascending wedge, just make it invalid and start trending towards the upside further alongside this ascending trend line. So as you guys know, no shorts on the board for me on the DXY, only looking for longs at the moment, unless we start breaking underneath this low over here and the ascending wedge is then confirmed. So what would that look like? Well, we might see one more touch in towards the highs, just fake out on the highs, then impulse towards the downside, retest this previous area of uh, support. So that retest this previous high low, create a new lower low, create a new lower high, and then see more downside occur. So yep, yeah, that's the DXY for you guys. Let's head over to Aussie dollar. And Aussie dollar, sad enough, didn't come back up towards the upside for that double top structure that I was talking about at 0 0.77668. However, what we did do was we saw a fake out on the lows over here, tapped into this reversal area, and then started moving towards the upside. So I'm currently not really that interested in Aussie dollar, to be honest, just chopping around at the moment. Not that much uh, clean structure left on it. We are currently seeing this descending wedge, so we could start seeing some more upside. However, we're really reliant on the DXY because the same structure is on the DXY visible as well. However, on the DXY, it was an ascending channel, of course. So if the ascending channel breaks on the DXY, we're most likely also going to break this descending channel on Aussie dollar. And then from there, we can start anticipating more upside. So how would that look like? Well, we would need to break above, break this lower high, retest that lower high and see more upside. However, this scenario will only play out if the DXY works along and breaks out of that ascending wedge that I was talking about. So if we want to see more downside, we're just going to have to break this major low over here, push towards the downside, retest that level, and then we're going to see more downside. So yep, that is Aussie dollar for you. Let's head over to Euro dollar. And Euro dollar, Euro dollar also failed to come back up towards that double top area over here. However, not too sad about it. We did tap perfectly into my liquidity zone over here at 1.20800. So on Euro dollar currently situated within this area of support. So not too surprised that we're just chopping around over here. I am waiting for price to come back down lower to from there see a nice impulse back up towards the upside. So what would this look like? Well, over here, of course, we have this descending trend line, which we're just riding along. And all I am waiting for is for us to tap into my liquidity zone, break out, retest this previous lower high, and then see more upside. So the scenario in which I would be looking for more downside is if we break this potential reversal area at 1.19600. However, that is not yet the case. So no potential setups on Euro dollar, to be honest as well. Just going to be waiting for it to dip down lower. Um, and yeah, that is all. So if Euro dollar discussed, let's head over to pound dollar. And pound dollar, what an absolute beauty. So pound dollar did come back up for that double top as I spoke about. So if you dive down deeper into the lower time frame, you might have been able to take a setup on pound dollar this morning upon the double top on the four hour. So what are we waiting for currently on pound dollar? Well, we could potentially start seeing more downside. It really depends on how this four hour closes in two hours and 20 minutes. So if this four hour were to close bearish, I am expecting more downside from pound dollar. 
So personally, no longs on the board for me yet until we break this previous lower high. So yeah, just anticipating more downside from pound dollar. So we'll just have to wait for what she does next. So yeah, with pound dollar discussed, let's head over to Kiwi dollar. And Kiwi dollar, as we can see, didn't come back up for that double top. However, what we did do was like I said, we dived right into that area over here, this major swing low, saw a fake out on it and started impulsing towards the upside. For me personally, Kiwi dollar is not that interesting anymore because we already faked out on this major low over here. So what do we need for shorts next? Well, I'm not going to be taking shorts from here like most people would do because what most people would do was draw their fib in from here to here, take shorts over here at the 618. However, for me personally, that is not an interesting setup because we've already faked out on this low over here where the ascending channel began. So if we want to see shorts, we're going to have to break below this major low over here, retest that low and then get bearish confirmation. For longs, we're going to have to break out out of this descending trend line. Let me just delete this for you to make it more clear. So we're going to have to break out out of this descending trend line, impulse towards the upside, break this potential reversal zone, retest that and then see some bullish confirmation. So that is it for Kiwi dollar. Let's head over to gold. So gold guys, what can we see from gold? Well, gold did retest the trend line to absolute perfection. If we just adjust it perfectly, as we can see, so bullish confirmation from there and you were able to take some longs towards the upside from the 0382. Um, some of us did within the community. So glad that they made some profit. However, for the rest, what is gold doing now? Well, as we can see, we retraced perfectly towards the 618, currently made a double bottom. So if we see bullish confirmation from gold, I would expect more upside to occur. So yeah, that is what gold is going to be doing next, most likely. Um, yeah, just going to be looking for some potential longs towards the upside. So with gold discussed, let's head over to our requested pairs, which are dollar yen. And dollar yen has some similar structure that Kiwi dollar had a few days ago. As we can see, we're currently situated within this ascending channel moving towards the upside. So what I'm currently expecting is that we are going to continue moving towards the upside, at least in towards this high over here at 109.962. Dollar yen is a little bit choppy at the moment. However, let's just have a quick look at the one hour. And as we can see in the one hour, we aren't really creating higher highs. Well, we have this high over here, we have this lower high over here, and then we had this lower high over here. We had this low, high, low, high, low. So we're currently breaking out. It seems we had this sort of a triangle pattern over here. Let me just delete this for you guys. So we had this triangle pattern over here, currently breaking out of it. So what I want to see is a further impulse retest of this level to then see more upside. Currently not interested in any shorts yet until we break this ascending trend line and then retest previous structure. So that is dollar yen. Let's head over to a dollar Swiss. And dollar Swiss is very rangy on the higher time frame, as we can see, um, just chopping towards the downside. Looking at the four hour time frame, we are in between these two potential reversal areas. So I'm just going to have to wait until we break out, because if we break out towards the upside retest structure, I will be looking for longs for shorts just a breakout down below this reversal area, then a retest bearish confirmation. Because at the moment, we are just situated within this area of choppiness. So no setups personally for me on the board. If we just look at dollar Swiss once more and look at what the one hour time frame is doing, it does seem that we have this ascending wedge on the one hour time frame. So I wouldn't be surprised if we come in towards the highs over here, retest the highs and then crash towards the downside, retest previous structure, then see more downside. So yeah, that is dollar Swiss for you. Let's head over to our last pair, which is dollar CAD. And dollar CAD, to be honest, is pretty overextended towards the downside. As we can see, we've had this entire run towards the downside without a decent pullback. So I have been waiting for a nice pullback on dollar CAD. If we look at the daily time frame, we can see that we are situated within my potential reverse area. So I am looking for a nice daily pullback most likely towards this zone over here. So either this zone or I'll be looking at a retracement back up towards this zone. These are my potential reversal areas and I am looking for longs on dollar CAD. 
if we dive down deeper into the four hour time frame, what do we need to see next? Well, we need to see this four hour high get broken, create a new higher high and then retest structure. So boom, boom, boom. Retest this previous high over here, bullish confirmation and then take a long in towards the highs. So yeah, personally, no shorts on the board for me. Just going to be waiting until we see a new higher high formed, a retest of that high, that previous high, and then bullish confirmation. So yeah, that was all for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions regarding any specific pairs, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. Thanks, guys.